With a clash of cymbals and a bang of drums, we find ourselves in the exciting conclusion to Let's Play Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. That collapsing floor had no chance of stopping us because we are like a combination of Robocop, the Terminator, John Wayne, and a bag of gravy. By gum, we're invulnerable. You're saying, hey, Evil Tim, there's some sort of special effect next to you. Yes, there is. It's a mystical special effect of great significance. It's actually the exit to the level. Yes, you can exit these levels through the entrance. That's extremely silly of them. And if you decide to, you can use clever guerrilla military type tactics to skip all of the character specific boss battles you don't have to fight any of them as it turns out, which is marvellous level design. I will explain this in a little more detail later on, but firstly, we're going to climb over here and we're going to rescue Nedward. Hello, Nedward. Speak unto me. Thank you so much for saving me. I knew that you would come for me. When I grow up, I want to be a great soldier like you. Wait, you're not a great soldier. You're incompetent. Get out of here, you fraudulent. Right, so we're going to eject Henry to the end of the level where he faces drama and danger because he's about to run out of time to get through that sun door, but luckily it's only a hundred yards away and so we succeeded where others have failed. We therefore find ourselves in question mark, question mark, question mark, where we will fight Medusa this time for some reason. Now, Medusa is actually kind of rubbish. All you have to do is just stand back and shoot her. She can pull out a snake and she turns into a shield. She can pull out a different snake, or possibly the same snake, which she turns into a bow and can shoot arrows at us. She has a sort of stone gaze attack. I don't know if it actually turns you into stone because I've never managed to be hit by it. She can throw snakes at you, which cling onto your ankles and annoy you, and finally she has a tail whippity attack, which does damage as you might expect it to. So, she's a bit of alright, except that she's not because she hardly ever does anything to you. You'd think, since this is Carrie's boss, that she would be good at dealing with a ranged character, but actually she's bad at dealing with a ranged character. And it's just one of those things, I suppose. There you go, there's her bow and there's her stonity gaze which may or may not function. Stop doing that. You're a terrible boss, and you must be disposed of in a messy fashion, like so. Okay, so we throw that at her a couple of more times, we get attacked in the ankle by a snake, and then we destroy her. Snake, get off my ankle. I'm not getting off your ankle. Ow! Oh, holy hell, that was embarrassing. Alright, so having once again embarrassed ourselves as the incompetent twerp we are, we find ourselves having defeated Medusa, incidentally and probably by accident. We get a sun card and we have a look down at her. Yes, she was turned into a gorgon for being low poly, and you can't really blame the gods for that. Right, now, while we proceed through here, I will pull up the guide by Supernova, against my better judgment, and I will use it to explain how the coffin works. If it is between 12.01am and 8am, you will go to Underground Tunnel when you jump in there. If it is 8.01am to 4 p.m you will go to Underground Waterway, where we were just then. And if it is 4.01pm to 12pm, you will go instead to the Outer Wall. So, our last level is the Outer Wall, so we need it to be at night. So let us use an at night card, which I will skip out the procedure for. Because I am a villainous fellow. There we go, we'll use that, and then it's used. Marvellous. If only it were like that in the actual game. Right, so in would we leap, and the way in which you would skip out fighting all the bosses is you would do this level first, you would then walk out the entrance after picking up the child. You would do the previous level, which we just did, because that was the previous one. Stop trying to make me define words. You won't succeed, sir. You won't. And you would then just walk out the entrance of that one, and then you would do Underground Tunnel, because you can't easily walk out the entrance of that one, because the child is lurking around right near the end, like a treacherous fool attempting to obstructigate us. Meanwhile, Henry will attempt to obstructigate himself. You can't climb through walls, you daft burk. Let's proceed onward instead, and ignore that minor hiccup in his logic circuit. Yes, he's a robot under there, don't you know? It was what we all suspected the whole time. So, finding ourselves on the vertical platform, we now find another curious game design decision. Because, if you remember the passageway full of swords we had to press the button, well, we don't have to go into it. Someone's already pressed the button. It was probably Cornell. You'd think in all these years they'd have unpressed the button, but no, it turns out that they're just really lazy, or maybe they don't hire anyone to come out here. Even though there's a new harpy. Anyway, let's rescue Florence from Dougal's villainous trap. Or possibly Zebedee, being as he's the only one who could get up here. You've come to save me! This place is scary! Dee blah dee blah! And we've rescued her, and the game immediately ends. Okay, so the end sequence is the same every time. This part is, anyway. The only thing that changes is a couple of bits of text, and he has three endings. This is the first one. If you've rescued no children, a deafening roar shakes the region as the evil castle begins to wobble. Henry collapses just as the evil castle escapes. Curse you, evil castle, he says. I'll get you next time. The castle, sinking into the shimmering lake, not pictured, marks the end of the war with evil. Yep, that's it. No more Castlevania games. Sorry. Henry tried desperately to find the kidnapped children, but to no avail. Henry, 
I can't believe I couldn't save a single child. I've got so much to learn. Darn! The morning sun shone down on Henry's tortured expression. Not pictured, Henry's tortured expression. Yes, they comment about his face in all three endings, despite the fact that they couldn't be bothered to put together a model of him without his helmet on. It's marvellous and brilliant, so uh, we've just got to say, I suppose, that Henry's torture expression is on his ass. Okay, so skipping out the first section, which is the same. Through Henry's, young Henry's efforts, one of the children were rescued. I were rescued one of them children, because I'm great. Well, did you expect me to be able to save everyone? Yeah, I'm sure that's why they sent him out, because he's rubbish. Hooray! The grave expression on Henry's face showed he'd grown into a man, or possibly a tree. We don't know, because we can't fucking see it, Konami. You foolish humans, you. Okay, so let's now proceed with the final ending. Here we go. Rotation. Owing to Henry's great exploits... What? He hacked? All six kidnapped children were rescued. Ooh. Henry. Oh, we were all okay, I suppose. It's not like I actually bothered to take you back or anything. Shall we go back to town? Your families are worried sick. I checked with all of them. The morning sun lit up the strong, gentle features of Henry's beaming face. Not pictured. The strong, gentle features of Henry's beaming face. Alright, so that's it. That is the end of Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. We have done it, we have won, and we have come out of it unscathed. So, we're going to skip over the credits. Damn you, Yuji Shibata, damn you and all of your friends. And we will now be told what we have earned by finning it. Overwrite cleared data, yes. Okay. Data saved. Starting the game with this file, you can select odd mode. You can use Cornell's second costume. Push the control stick up on the crystal blast there. You can use Reinhardt. You can use Carrie. You can use Reinhardt's second costume. You can use Carrie's second costume. Or you can not do any of that. Okay, I'd like to thank anyone who's been involved in this thread so far. Anyone and everyone. Um, it has been marvellous. It has been fun. It has taken a long, long time. And I promise I'll never use the word tomorrow in any context ever again. We will now proceed on to Castlevania Lament of Innocence, which will be marvellous. There'll probably be a bonus video of this later showing you everything we have earned. I'll just, uh, we'll just quickly go over the character select screen now. Here we go. We've earned everything by gum. Aren't we marvellous? And you've actually got to select now to tell you which costume you're using. Anyway, I have been Evil Tim, and this has been Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Goodbye, 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 and goodbye. Oh, yes. Say it with me.